You see that, Lucas? That's how we start getting the audio linked with the video. It's how it all works, how it will always work. Okay? So, now that we got the audio rolling, we're going to show you how to make your thumbnail. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop. So we're going to come in here. Oh, look at all the sparkly stuff. Don't care. So, we're going to click on Adobe Photoshop 6. Have that open up. Also beautiful, like, look at that. So nice. Oh, so nice. Then what you're going to do is come over here to File, New, or press Command N. Open that up. You're going to have all this. Name it, whatever, Hobbit Journey. And then you make sure this is set to pixels and not inches. And then you want to having it to set to 1280 and 720 as a size. Don't care about the rest of it. And then you press OK. You see how we got all that? Well, we don't want that. So we're going to... Go over here, drop the lock down to the trash can. See that? Drop the lock down to the trash can. Make it open. Get your wand tool. Select it all. Delete. Get rid of all that. Command D. Take your normal tool. And then you should have a folder in the email called thumbnail picks. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select them all. Right click and then press open with Photoshop CS6. And then everything will open up. So what we're going to put in there first will be your background, which will be this image. And the way to do that is you just click and hold on the picture, then drag it up here into Hobbit's Journey, and then just place it. And then there it is. Look at how beautiful that worked out. I know. Amazing. So we don't need that anymore over here. Get rid of that. And then the next thing we need is you. So there you are, also mighty and stoic. But if you notice, when we move around, you still have all those little squares. So we want to get rid of all those. And the way to do that is we're going to come over here, get our quick select tool. We're going to actually zoom in a little bit so we can actually see more of your character. And then we'll go back to our quick select. And then you're going to select your skin and make sure it gets every single part of it. Make sure just click and hold. When it's plus, it's adding. And when there's a minus in the circle, it's subtracting. So we're just going to make sure we get all that. And then double check, make sure, yeah, we got pretty much everything there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it, press select inverse. You see all the little dotted lines now are moving to the side of the dealio and over here. So then we press delete. It appears that all the little squares just got smaller, which is basically we just got the normal background now. It's transparent. So what we're going to do now is press command D. And I don't know if you noticed, but when we did that, I over here have some pixels that did not get changed over to the normal. So we're going to get the eraser tool and just erase all of that. Get rid of some of that. There we go. Press Z again. Press and hold Alt and zoom out. And the one thing that we probably should fix is what the crap's going on in between here. So what we're dag nabbit stop it. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the same thing except we're gonna have the uh, magic wand tool. And we're just going to select certain spots in there. Well, that doesn't look good. Let's try this again. Okay. Basically just deleting just the little random squares. So when we put it into uh, the other image, we'll be fine. It'll do a little bit of fading so it looks natural and stuff, which is fine. I mean, it's just getting rid of that ugly gray and white. So command D that looks good. We're gonna zoom out. So now your character is ready to be put in so we go back to our normal tool click and hold on him then drag him up here to the picture drop him. See there he is. Hello my name is Mr. Baggins. La -da 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 -da. Okay anyways so we're going to transform him, or we're going to press Command T, or we go up here to, oh, where is it? Yeah, we go to File, 
and we go to edit. That's what we go to. We go to edit, transform, stop it, scale, or just press command T. So we get that. Press shift. Press and hold shift because if you don't press and hold shift, pressing shift makes it size proportionally. If you don't press shift, all it does is this. You're like, ah, oh, crap. Look at me, I'm a dwarf. Now I'm really a hobbit. Oh my goodness, I'm an ogre. Oh, oh, I don't know what I am now. I'm a little worm. Little worm. So yeah, that's why we want to press and hold shift when we scale anything. So command Z, press and hold shift. And while we do that, we click and we drag. And oh, look at that. It's the Mr. Baggins. So you can size him to whatever the heck you want him to be. Uh, I tilt him because that would make the most sense. We're going to press enter, command T. Uh, tilt him just a wee bit. That's just how I would do it so he looks a bit more even with the trees. Or whatever. So do it that way. He looks good there. So we got that done. There's your Baggins. So the next thing we're going to do, so we're done with the screenshot. Click and delete that. Uh, don't save. Doesn't matter. It wasn't that hard to get rid of all that. So the next thing we're going to do is the Enderman backpack. So we're going to zoom in a little bit here. We're going to get the magic wand tool, magic wand, select all the white, and then press delete, command D, deselect, get back to your normal tool. And then for this one, because as you see, it's going to lean against the wrong way for me at least, you go to image, image rotation, and then flip canvas horizontally. Now it looks the other way. And now we're going to click and hold on it and then take it up here to Hobbit's Journey. Bam. Look at that. We're going to press Command T, press and hold Shift so it sizes reasonably. Eh, that looks about the size for a hobbit. I tilt it so it looks like when it's against your leg, it's leaning. I'm trying my best to make it look like it's leaning or placed there. Press Enter. There you go. And the next thing we're going to deal with, I'm going to press that. Don't save because all we had to do was select the background. Not that hard. Then this one, it's your bow, Mr. Legolas. We're going to click that. Make sure you got the lock gone from the layer right here. Drag it down, get rid of it. So when we delete, it's transparent. Command D or deselect. And you can either press Command D after you're done with this, or you press Dagnab it. So when you select this, so you can either right click and press deselect or something. I, I just usually press Command D. So we got your bow now. I don't think we need to flip it at all. So we're going to drag it over here to Hobbit's Journey. Place it down. Look at how big that is. I want you to carry that. I want that to be on your back. You see that? It's like the big Bertha. But anyways, Command T. Come over here. Make sure you hold Shift. Size it down. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, that looks about right. And then I'd put it right about like that. I'd actually shrink it down a wee bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. But look, that looks weird, doesn't it? Well, over here in your layers, mine's layer four. I should be naming these as I go, but you can look over there and you can see uh, you want to drag the bow layer and put it right there in between your skin and the picture. So it's behind you, but it's not behind the picture so we can't see it. And now with it behind you, we can go back and we can edit it. We can angle it however we want. If you want to make it a bit bigger so we can see it coming out the other side of you or whatnot, that's fine. So just however you want the bow to look, it's essentially what you're going to do. I mean, that shows that there's something on your back, not exactly a bow, but, it, I mean, it'll show. So, I mean, you could always just nudge it out so people can see the arrow, not the arrow, the, the string of the bow. So there you go, there's that. And then that's how you get the bow in there. Uh, don't save, don't care. Then we're going to your walking stick. Oh, bye, Joe, your walking stick. Then we come in here, place that. Command T, rotate, look at that. Oh, but see, 
Now it's behind the little hand, which is not what we want. There's a different way to do that. So after we get it to the size you want, a little bit taller. That looks good. I'm going to save it as that. We're going to put it in front of your skin, but we will make it look like your man's holding it. So how we're going to do that is what we're going to do. Well, I should probably, I'm going to tilt that just a wee bit. So it's actually looking like it's going to be in your hand when we do what I'm going to do. So we save that. And then what we do is we're going to get out our eraser tool. Why it's so freaking small, I don't know. Not big enough for what I want to do. No. We'll go to 24. So anyways, we're on. Make sure you have the layer of the walking stick selected. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to erase. Erase the walking stick ever so carefully. And just, that looks good. So now it looks like you're holding the walking stick. Now you can do that if you want, or you can put it behind your character so it looks like he's holding it, but, or you can just leave it as it was before and just have it as a, uh, you know, just, just have a walking stick. But this makes it more like he's holding it and looks like he's holding it. So that's just how I would do it. Anyways, so we're going to save that. Yeah, save it to Hobbit PSD, whatever. Okay, so we got the walking stick done, so we're done with it. There you go, so that's how you get the thumbnail portion done of getting the image up there. Uh, let's see, you're wanting also to put titles in. Come over here to the type tool, come over here, stretch it out, click and hold and stretch. I make it about as wide as that, and I type in Hobbit Journey. It's not that big, is it? No. I don't know where it is. Where'd it go? Sort of freaking me out. Where'd it go? Uh, I don't know where it went, Lucas. Oh, there it is, Lucas. <laughs> it was so big, it didn't fit in the portion, right? So you just do it like that. Have Hobbit's Journey. I think that looks good. I don't like the black. But I can change that because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look amazing. Uh, since it is a sunset, come down here and do an outer glow. And then you just make it however big you want. I'm going to make the size a little bit better, spread a little bit higher. That looks good. Press OK. And then you're wanting to also put in the episode. So same thing. You just get the type tool. Come down here. Get that set. Type in. Episode. One. And then you just shrink it down. Make it about thirty five on that thing. And then I just put the same. Thing right there and I believe the way to do that to share it is just pr press and hold alt and then click and hold on the FX and then drag and place it on there it has the same effect and everything so yeah and then once you do that uh, you have to save it either as a JPEG or a, uh, let me look um, either a JPEG or a GIF I would save it as a JPEG because that's the highest quality picture so what you do you press command shift Say you would press Command Shift S, or you could go up here to File, or go to File, Save As, and then save it as a JPEG, normal JPEG, 2000 stereo or weird things. I don't mess with it. So JPEG, click that, be in a JPEG format, you save it. Yeah, do that. So now it's saved. You're done. That's how you do that. 
we save it, Command S, save the PSD file, quit that, joy to that, and then you will have it over here, and there's the JPEG version of it, and when you open it up in YouTube, and just so coincidentally I'm uploading one of my videos, uh, you would come over here, and then custom thumbnail, you'd have to go to file upload, and then you come over here, and you see that, dagnab it, stop it, stop moving, where'd it go? I had it, I really did. Mr. Baggins, Papa's mug, there it is. You click on the JPEG version, and you press open. We're going to see, it's uploading it right now, and then there it is. And that's how you get your thumbnail in there. So yeah, change image, I don't want it. Uh, I'll probably have to change my image because I'm technically not doing that. I was just doing that to show you what the crap to do. So I'll change that for mine so you don't feel jealous of my pure awesomeness. So so once my video is done processing and everything, I'll change the thumbnail. But that's how you would do it. That's how you would get it together. Yes, it is amazing. So that's about it. And then when we end the video, you don't end the video just yet, or you can do whatever. I don't care. You can either push the stop button on the audio or push the stop button up here for the video. And then it'll stop. Okay? So you press the stop here.